Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome uh, to a live stream from Tarpon Springs, Florida. I'm at Sunset Beach, and uh, man, it is a beautiful, like 68, 70 degree day here in Florida. And I thought uh, I would just get out and get into the nature. Uh, it's not super crowded here. I drove through the sponge docks here in Tarpon Springs. That was crowded, so uh, it's nice to be out here where there's not much of a crowd. So what's happening? Everybody, the flies are attacking me. Let me see if I got the chat on. Hold on. What's up, my brother? What's going on, high octane? This is what I'm looking at. Let's see if I can uh, see if I can switch the camera around here. What's going on, Slinky? All right, here's what I'm looking at. Just a nice, nice Florida day here. How about that? What's going on, Mary? Becky? Ooh, someone from Belize. I can't see that. Yeah, it's really nice out here today. Yeah, so I was saying, uh, so I'm in Tarpon Springs. I went to the Tarpon Aquarium to check that out. That was interesting, Tarpon Springs Aquarium. And then uh, I drove down through the sponge docks, which was kind of cool, uh, but very crowded. I didn't get out over there. And then I thought I would just come and see uh, what was going on. Uh, so Chris, it's, uh, it's probably about 45 minutes from the house. Uh, we've got closer beaches, but this one's really nice. What are you guys doing today? I just had to get near the water. I'm so excited about this Royal Caribbean announcement that I just wanted to get near the water sometime. Man, Marty, the beautiful Jenny stayed at home. Uh, she stayed on the ship. There's one like fly, one gnat trying to distract everything. This is the most I've tested out these glasses. These are my normal uh, everyday glasses and they get dark. I'm very impressed with how dark they get. Oh, the lightning's playing, that's good. Who are they playing? What's up, cruise fans, all the way from Nambia? Wow, what's going on, Willie? What's going on, Jack? How are you? Thanks, Andy D. Yeah, uh, oddly enough, I picked up this shirt a little while ago, and we had a suitcase we had not um, unpacked yet. And uh, I was looking for my belt, of all things, because I don't go out often enough, but I knew I'd be walking around, so I needed a belt, and I found my belt in a suitcase along with this shirt. So it's pretty exciting. But oh, the Blackhawks. That's a that should be a good matchup. I don't know if the Blackhawks are still good anymore. I don't know. It's peaceful. It's not really windy here. Uh, earlier, you could see some sailboats. So this is the Gulf of Mexico. I'll, I'll walk a bit. Let me walk down near the water. And we can see what's going on. Let me gather all my gear up here. Got my mask for when I'm around people. Make sure we take care of everybody. All right, let me uh, turn the camera around. We'll take a walk about, how about that? Mm. Yeah, so this is the Gulf of Mexico. It's always really calm. A lot of these beaches here on at least the West Coast, they've got all kind of these little small sandy areas. There's people swimming on the other side, but this water's calm. There's birds. Identify those birds. Man, I really can't see the, ch the chat in this sunlight. So uh, if you guys are saying something, I can't see it. But yeah, we'll go back up under the pavilion here in a minute. I don't know what the deal is. Well, I mean, I know birds like to nest together, but uh, there's that outcropping out there full of birds. It's just peaceful, man. This is uh, this beach, I'd, I'd seen it listed a couple times when I'd search for beaches and I figured something called Sunset Beach would be a beautiful place to see the sunset. Uh, I don't think I'll stay out here this long, but it seems like a lot of these beaches are just like little peninsulas out into the Gulf, kind of round, and that's what the scenario is here. This is just like a circular beach area. So you can see water over on the other side too. A lot of people hanging out. People are staying distant though, and uh, People, when they're close to each other, got their mask, and so it's uh, it's pretty chill. Now, over at the sponge docks, though, it was kind of, uh, there was a lot of people there, and it was just on top of each other. So that was a whole different scenario. I'm going to get back under the shade because the sun, 
I don't like it. Probably good for me though to get a little vitamin D. Hopefully my little fly friend has left. Go back to this view. See if I can see what you guys are saying in the chat. Get back in the shade. But yeah, that's uh, that's what we got going on. I just wanted to get out of the house a little bit, and uh, sometimes Jenny and I were together so much. It's uh, good. It's good to be apart. Not that we really want to be apart, but uh, I find that when we take these little breaks, uh, we feel better when we get back together. I'll take these off. See if I can read some of this chat. Uh, no grill. No, it doesn't look like anybody's cooking here, Lou. There are a lot of grills here. This would be a cool place. Like it's probably. Uh, probably about an hour from my house with traffic or something like that but this would be a cool place to come spend the day again there's other people swimming on the other side what's that out in the water hold on i don't know if you'll be able to pick that up nah it's too far away man there's something that was, I, thought, I think it's the loch ness monster or something i don't know what it was but uh it's not cruising for sure but I guess it's, it's something. I guess it's something. Anybody else doing anything fun today other than watching hockey? Can't find a place where I like this thing that I can see. All right, let's see if I can read the chat a little bit. Hello, Israel. What's going on? Wow, it's 420 already. I guess I got to start heading home soon. Yeah, so I went to the Tarpon Springs Aquarium. It was really small, but they had some stingrays. They had some tarpon fish. Uh, they had an American crocodile. I think they had another kind of crocodile. They had some uh, s some snakes. Uh, if you're a Florida resident, it was half off, so it was nice. There you go, Jenny B. Yeah, I said that to see if you were there. You know you told me to get out of the house. Don't, uh, you threw me out. What the heck? No hockey, just ma NASCAR. Is it to the point, what month are we in? I guess it's, is it Daytona 500 time yet? Or that probably happened already. That's a February thing. February thing. Hmm. But, yeah, it's nice to be out. Uh, no, I'm not really by St. Pete. I don't think. Jenny, where am I at? I'm somewhere in between. I'm somewhere in between uh, where we live in Spring Hill and Tampa. I think I'm about midway through. It's near a town called Newport Ritchie. I mean, I'm in Tarpon Springs, which is the next town uh, going north, I think. We live north of Tampa. I think I'm I think I'm think south of where I live. So, ooh, Kim planted seeds for flowers in the greenhouse today. Beautiful in Ohio. What kind, what kind, what are you planting in there? It's kind of funny, Kim. I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but I've been playing this game called Stardew Valley on the Nintendo Switch, and one of the rewards you get is a greenhouse so that you can grow plants during all times of year. So I'm with you. I have virtually been planting pumpkins in my greenhouse. Oh, Benji's only about 10 minutes from here. Nice. Yeah, I can't wait till there's a time where... I know there's a lot of people that live all over Florida. I just can't wait till there's a time where we can kind of have some meetups and get together socially. Uh, big news for us. We, we got appointments to get the shot this week, so I'm kind of excited for that. Uh, Florida is actually allowing uh, the vaccination for people, I believe, that are 50 uh, starting on Monday. So, But we have an appointment, so that's exciting. Exciting. Mary Miller's watching basketball. You watch some Indiana basketball? IU, the Pacers. What you watching, Mary? Let me give you guys some more of this, the C... Uh, the temp is probably, I don't think it's any more than 70 degrees Fahrenheit, Jackie. I don't know how that relates to, are you guys Fahrenheit or are you Celsius in the UK? I'll give you something outside the pavilion there. Yeah, 50 and up. Yeah, I thought I saw that on the news the other day. Now, we, uh, we're working on the, on the doctor's exemption anyways, but uh, it should be fine because Jenny is 50 and I'm only a few months away. So, Thank you, Slinky. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, you guys are Celsius, so it's 70 degrees Fahrenheit here. I don't know how that translates. Oh, I, Ohio is giving shots for people that are 40 or older. There's not much going on in the scene, but it is pretty, right? I'll, I'll do a little finger dance. Like the Pee Wee Herman. Tequila. Okay. 
I figured we'd break up the scene a little bit. That's right, Marty. Jenny is 29. 29 years old. Man, I, Jenny, I wish you were out here. Should have taken the ride. Actually, that traffic, so this is, uh, this for Jenny, nobody else listened, but man, that traffic going up 19 was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, our son, Alex, so Alex said he's 21. He got it in Delaware, even though he's from New York. Our son got it at school. He's 20, and uh, he got it for a school thing, so it's happening. Christine's coming to June in Florida, coming to Florida in June. Very nice. That's right, Commander Red Hawk. That was Jaws. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, but I, I really enjoyed that video today. Like, I don't normally go deep detail on stuff, but uh, it did kind of hit me that if you want to jump on that Royal Caribbean cruise, I think it's going to sell out within the day or two. I mean, uh, Jenny, I know she feels similar, and I'd be interested if any other travel agents out there feel the same, but I really feel like there's enough people with enough pent-up demand that will jump on that cruise uh, – that it will sell out. So if, if you've got any idea or any thought that you want to get on that cruise, pay attention. I, I mean, I've heard people, and I think it was in the comments, I know people are saying that they're going to, uh, you know, stay up till midnight and that kind of thing. So, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's it, there's a good crowd out here, but it's, uh, it's like, spaced out enough that it doesn't feel uh, crowded, which is nice. Yeah, Timothy, I'm interested on that cruise credit. And again, I probably should ask Jenny at home, but I guess, you know, if people have future cruise credit, they can throw it on there after they make their deposit. Good day from Sydney. I didn't see who that was, but we're glad to have you. Yeah, it's funny on this uh, on this live stream thing, you only see like three chats at a time and then it goes away. It goes away. Oh, that's nice. Michael said they're giving the shot from the doctor's office. Heading to Florida next month. Commander Lou, how was your uh, road trip? How was your Williamsburg road trip? I, that's one place I've always wanted to go, Colonial Williamsburg. I always heard about that when I was a kid, and I like history. I think that would be fun. Jenny, have you ever been to this beach? This is nice over here. A lot of pavilions. They got sand volleyball, a couple swimming areas. It's very cool, and parking's free. Didn't cost anything, so if you're in this area... Uh, the beach by our house costs like five bucks that you have to pay to park, but this was free parking and it was uh, really accessible. Commander Red Hawk leaving Williamsburg. Emily, Matt, yeah, we're getting the Pfizer. My mom had the Moderna and she had an allergic reaction. And so I was kind of excited for it to be the Pfizer since, you know, my mom and I share the same DNA. But my mom's doing good, but uh, she's waiting for a second shot. But she did have a – she broke out. She had a rash from the uh, Moderna. But it, that's very uh, rare. But she's good. Jenny says she's probably been here in the day, back when she was a partier. Partier. Yeah, so that's the day. It's uh, – Sometimes I forget what day it is. Like, I didn't really realize it was Saturday. And then I was like, why is all this traffic on the road? And why are all these people out? And I think that was uh, primarily what it was. Man, these sunglasses, these glasses really get dark. These are the same glasses I wear during the, uh, the video. I'm shocked how dark they are. I'm glad I got it. I, was, I always question whether those transition lenses are worth it. Uh, these were worth it. Very dark. All right, let me, uh, I'll pan you guys around a little bit again. So you get just a different... Uh, vibe of what's going on here we'll start over here the big the big pan the sounds of nature a beach volleyball over there Yeah, so it ain't much. It's not a cruise ship, uh, but uh, I figured I would share a little Florida sunshine with you guys. Hopefully, hopefully brighten up the day a little bit. I know it has for me, and uh, this is a good way to share the, the moment with my lovely Jenny, too. So I'll read a few more comments, and then we'll, we'll get out of here. Boy, it's, uh, it's a bright. There's Emma Cruises. What's up? Oh, it went away. What did your thing say? Ah, dang it. I 
can't believe it's an actual place that exists at the same time as a rainy day in England. Yes, absolutely. How about that? Uh, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to uh, jump off here and, and head back home. But I just, like I said, I wanted to share a few minutes of the sunshine with you. <laughs> Emma's not convinced it's real. Look, Emma, no green screen. We're switching camera angles. So, all right, guys, I'm going to jump off. Get this away from my face a little bit. I'll jump off and uh, head back home, but I wanted to just stop in and say hi. Uh, enjoy Florida. I will give you a uh, – I'll turn it back around just for the sound, and then I'll shut it off. So hang out for a couple minutes if you want to see some more beach. Uh, but until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Okay, I'll go dance. Is that what you want? You want some beach dance? All right, I'm too old for that. All right, guys, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.